Welcome to this Stiegel video, demonstrating the features of Stiegel News for Google Sites. It's a small gadget you can add to your Google Site to summarize and show news from wherever you have it on your site or off-site. Let's take a little time to look at how you can view the news and the features that the news gadget offers. You can have pinned news and news grouped by day. You can filter by tag and by month. You can use the hashtags and source tag to narrow the news down. And also you can use the link to link off to your actual news item. Let's see those in action. As you can see on this full width news gadget, we see here the pinned news at the top, where we can see the news that has been pulled out of date order to retain the important news. Then beneath we have some news added, either on a single day like the 7th of May, or alternatively, you can see the news grouped on the 4th of May for two pieces of news added, also on the 3rd. We can use the drop down menus to filter by just tag. So if you want to look at just a particular piece of news, you can filter to just those particular tags. Also, you can use the months as well. So if you want to look at news from just April, you can select news that just has April in its published date. Finally, if you found a news, uh, an area of news that interests you, you can use that to narrow down just this one particular piece of news. So for instance, we can use the new features tag to show just the new features piece of news. Let's take a little time to look at how you add news to Stiegel News. You can add headlines, snippets and URLs to the articles where they sit on the internet or your private site. You can add metadata like dates, publisher and tags. You can add a thumbnail or an attachment to add extra information to your news item. And once added, you can then choose to authorize or pin the news. You add your news articles through a Google form. Here you have some required fields. You must add a headline and also a snippet for your article. If your article is linking to something else, you can add a URL. This is optional. For metadata, you need to add a published date to know when this piece of news will be available from. You can set that into the future so that the news article releases on that date. Expiry date is optional. You can set this so the news item disappears automatically. Publisher, optional too, allows you to say who the news was added by. Then your hashtags. Here you add them in as words separated by commas without spaces but you can use dashes if you wish. Again, an optional thumbnail will allow you to add a bit of flair to the news article. And if you want your news article to link to an attachment, you can add that also. Use the submit button and that will add the news item to your Google Sheet. If you have chosen the authorization option in the news gadget, that means that the news admin needs to authorize the news before it appears in the gadget. You do this via the Google Sheet. In the Google Sheet, you have the option to authorize or unauthorize news and the option to pin as well. So if you want to take the news out of date order and keep it at the top, you have the option in the Google Sheet there. This is only accessible to the news admins. Stiegel News also provides the option to add an RSS feed. You can add RSS feeds to Stiegel News and also delete ones you no longer want to publish. You can set the expiry period of how long a news article from an RSS feed will remain. And you can set how frequently you want Stiegel News to check for new RSS feed updates. Let's see that in action. To add a new RSS feed to your Stiegel News, open the settings and in the settings, once that's loaded, you scroll down to the news source section. There you can add a new RSS feed, RSS feed or you can delete an existing one. You can set how long you want the news from an RSS feed to remain on the site and also how frequently you want Stiegel News to check for new RSS feed updates. Stiegel News also offers channels so you can pre-filter your news to just one particular hashtag or source. You can create a channel and have multiple channels. You can grab that channel URL and then embed that in your Google site. 
and then once that's embedded you can also filter. Let's see how to do that now. Creating a channel could not be easier. You simply open the settings of your Steagle News gadget. In there you'll be presented with the option to create a channel. This provides a drop down list of all the hashtags and sources that you have but it also provides autocomplete. So if you start typing in one of your channels, you can find it very, very easily. Once you've picked the source or hashtag you wish to use, you're given a URL for that particular channel. You can copy the link address of that channel and then use that to embed in your Google site. Embedding the channel could not be easier. Simply use the embed option in the insert panel in your Google site, paste in your channel URL and use the insert tool. There you can resize to something sensible and also format the news channel to fit in with your site. Once you have embedded your news channels into your site, filtering is still an option. You can see here we have a couple of different widths to show how responsive Steagle News is and also to show that you can still filter on a news channel. This particular channel is the RSS feed of the Google Workspace updates and here if you want to narrow it down to just a particular piece of news you can do so. Again this narrower version shows how the news would look on a mobile device and here you can see this was restricted to our five star reviews and you can see those nice and easily with big bold images as part of the news item. We hope you found this useful and informative and thanks for watching. If you want more information, then please email us on info at steagle.com. That's info at steagle.com. Or if you wish to see a live demo, then please visit news.steagle.com. That's news.steagle.com. Thanks again.